up on a special edition of UCF Sports Night. We take a look back at the top five moments of the fall. And we sit down with Athletic Director Keith Tribble to talk about what's on tap for the spring. All that and more next on a special end of the fall edition of UCF Sports Night. UCF Sports Night is brought to you by UCF TV. Hello, Night fans. How's it going? Welcome to UCF Sports Night. I'm Jeff Sharon. Thank you so much for joining us, and we want to wish you a very happy, healthy, and joyous holiday season. No events on campus or off campus, for that matter, for UCF Athletics this week with the holidays. However, we did have a chance to take a look back at some of the great moments from the fall. We compiled our top five moments in UCF Athletics from this previous semester. Let's take a look. Moment number five, volleyball in late August. After dropping their first set of the season, the Knights rattle off 12 set victories in a row against Jacksonville, UNF, FAU, and DePaul and win the season opening Radisson UCF Invitational. Senior Aaron Campbell was named tournament MVP after dropping 50 kills for the weekend and the Knights started the season with four straight wins for the first time in 14 years. Moment number four, football versus Tulane, and it was all about defense. Defensive coordinator Dave Huxtable's unit held the green wave to 50 yards on 51 plays, the fifth best defensive performance in college football this decade. And couple that with 49 offensive points, and that added up to the most lopsided shutout in Conference USA history. Final score, UCF 49, Tulane nothing. Moment number three, senior night for women's soccer against Southern Miss. The Knights got the goal of the year from Becca Thomas on this turnaround in the third minute and did not look back. Thrashing the Golden Eagles four to nothing and clinching their third Conference USA regular season title in five seasons. The Knights finished the season eighth in the nation with a 15-3-1 record, 10-1 in Conference USA. Moment number two, football against number 12 Houston at Bright House Network Stadium. The Knights trailed 17-3 to, to the Cougars on homecoming in the second quarter. But then the floodgates opened as UCF went on a 34-3 run thanks to three Bryn Harvey scores and a spectacular touchdown catch by Quincy McDuffie. And UCF scored its first victory over a ranked program in school history, 37-32 over Houston. Moment number one, women's soccer against number four Florida State in front of a school record crowd of 1,142 fans. The Knights ran step for step with the Seminoles through regulation and then won overtime and into a second. In the 105th minute, a Florida State foul gave the Knights a free kick just outside the box. And on the ensuing play, Becca Thomas found Courtney Witten who found the back of the net. And the Knights beat Florida State in a thriller for the ages one to nothing in double overtime. And those are your top five moments of the fall. UCF! <laughs> wow, what great moments those were, and we are certainly looking forward to bringing you plenty of more great moments like that when the spring comes around. Don't go away. Coming up next here on UCF Sports Night, we sit down with Director of Athletics Keith Tribble to reflect on the fall of 2009 and look ahead to the spring of 2010. Don't go away. We're back in just a moment. Night fans, the nightmare has returned to UCF Arena for basketball season again. Season tickets for the men's basketball team are available now. More information at 407 UCF 1000 and at UCFAthletics.com. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night and joining me now for a look back at the fall and a look ahead to the spring is Keith Tribble, the athletic director here at UCF. Happy holidays and welcome Happy back holidays to the to show. You. Thank you very much. Tell me about the uh, the fall, how it went in your eyes. You know, we had so many great moments uh, throughout the year and 
um, everything from football to, you know, volleyball had some good moments, from women's soccer, making it to the NCAAs. Uh, tell me about some of those things that happened in your eyes that you thought were the, were the best highlights. Well, you know, I'll start with football. You know, um, we are very excited about the football season. I think if you would take a look back and start the season when we had those first two uh, tough uh, conference games and unfortunately we lost both of those I think a lot of people thought that the season was going to be very bad um, I think everybody thought that probably except the players and that's good uh, but I think uh, what I'm most proud of is that our team held in there our coaching staff held in there and um, you know the, the young men uh, I give them credit um, they took an adversity at the beginning of the year with those two early losses and they turned it into something positive to where, you know, now we are eight and four and, and uh, you know, play it in bowl game. Yeah. Now you look at also women's soccer, I thought, you know, they had such a spectacular year and they're just that model of consistency. And I know you talk about that a lot of the times. Uh, consistency is one of the things that you want to see from every program here at UCF, and they're a good example of that. Well, they are a good example of that, and you're exactly right. Consistency is, see, is what will make us a great program. And uh, if we do that in all our sports, then we'll be successful. But the women's soccer program, uh, I can't speak enough about what they've accomplished over the past few years, at least since I've been here. Uh, they have consistently been in the NCAAs. They have consistently had a chance to advance on. You have to be very, very happy with the success that they've had uh, throughout the years. Uh, winning conference championships, graduating student athletes, uh, having our student athletes, uh, their student athletes at a high level of academic success. You can't ask for anything more. And uh, I think in the future, you know, the, the program will continue to to be in the NCAs and hopefully in talking to coach they'll have a chance now to get past that second round and move on to the Sweet 16. Tell me about what, let me ask you this now, what was your favorite moment from the fall? Oh, there are a lot. You know, anytime our student athletes do well, that's my, that's my favorite moment. But uh, I'd have to point out maybe two or three things. I know two things. One would be the women's, women's soccer victory against Florida State here. Uh, I was at the game, and it was very exciting to see not only having us get the win, but just the expression and excitement on the young lady's face uh, after they beat, uh, I think, a number four ranked uh, Florida State at that time. So that has to be one of them. And I think the second one would probably be our win against Houston uh, in football. Houston had come in a top 25 team. I think they were maybe in the top 10 at that time. And uh, our team did an, a standing job of, of really limiting a very high-powered offense. But our team rose to the occasion and got that win. So those are two really high points that uh, I can, that were very, in my mind, if I go back and I say, well, what was, was the ones you were most proud of, those are most proud of. But I got to say, all the time, anytime our athletes do well, I'm proud of it. What was the most pleasant surprise for you this fall? Well, so far, it's probably been uh, the attendance at our basketball. Um, you know, the first game against UMass, um, you know, anytime you have the opening season, you expect to have a good crowd. Uh, but I think we had over 8,000, close to 9,000. And uh, we were a little surprised. We knew we would do well. I mean, we, that's, that's our aim is to try to get as many people in the arena as we possibly can. But to see that many people for the opening game against UMass, I mean, uh, UMass is a fine ball club, but they're, they're not University of North Carolina or one of the premier basketball schools. Uh, and the good thing about that is I think that trend is, is continuing on today in terms of the number of tenants at, uh, at, at basketball. So I think right now that's, that would rank as the one so far has been the pleasant surprise for me. You've talked all the time, and, and I know that this is one of the most, that, well, this is the most important thing for you. You want to see student athletes getting good grades, graduating, performing well in the classroom, and on and off the field is always something that's important for you. Uh, how are UCF's student athletes progressing in the classroom in 2009-2010? Well, I can say that is one area where we are continuing to do extremely well. Uh, it's an area which I'm probably the most proud in terms of our student athletes, because as you mentioned, you know we have two main goals, and that's one is to to educate and graduate our student athletes, and the second is to compete for championships. And I think if we can do those two things consistently. 
this program will be a top 25 program. Uh, so I'm very proud of our graduation rates, very proud that our student athletes, you know, we have almost four, uh, 500 student athletes, and more than half of those student athletes have a 3.0 average, and that's impressive. But, you know, I, as I talk about, I'm excited and, and pleased about what our student athletes have done, I got to give them credit because they're the ones that are getting it done, along with our uh, academic staff who stays uh, very diligent on them and making sure that they do the things necessary. But the most important is the, is the, is the coaches themselves. Because uh, you gotta have coaches who are committed to excellence in the classroom as well as the field of competition. And uh, I can say we do have coaches who believe in both of them. All right, hang with us for a few minutes because we're gonna talk about the spring here when we get back from the break. Stick around, coming up next here on UCF Sports Night. We'll keep on talking with Director of Athletics, Keith Trill, and look ahead to the spring of 2010. Don't go away. We're back in just a moment. Night fans, it's time to armor up for your defending Conference USA champion women's basketball team. Season tickets are available now. More information at 407 UCF 1000 and at UCFathletics.com. Greatness doesn't care how early it is or how late. Greatness doesn't care if anyone's watching. Greatness doesn't care about your clothes, your hair, or your music. The only thing greatness cares about is getting an opportunity. Where will you get yours? At UCF, we believe no dream is too big and no goal out of reach. On the fields, the courts, and in the classrooms, UCF stands for opportunity. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. We're continuing our talk with Director of Athletics Keith Tribble, and then we're now going to look ahead to the spring of 2010, which I know we have a lot of things that we've wrapped up in the fall, had a lot of success in the previous semester. What are some of the things that now you are looking forward to in the spring semester? Well, I mean, of course, we, we want to continue uh, uh, doing very well in the classroom. I think that's important. Uh, and I think our student athletes uh, are committed to that and will continue to do that. You know, winning conference championships, you know, because uh, uh, when you recruit a student athlete and you tell them that, you know, here's our goals. One, as I said, we want to graduate. We want you to graduate. Two, we want you to put you in a position to win and compete for championships. I think we need to follow up on that. So, um, and I think those are things that, that we want to get accomplished this, this, this spring. As we look ahead to the rest of the spring, uh, what are some of the other things that you've got on tap? Well, you know, um, we're looking at facilities. You know, facilities is something that uh, and you're trying to build a good program. You, know, you have to recruit good student athletes. You have to have good coaches, uh, but you have to have the facilities. Uh, and uh, we have some great facilities here at UCF for, that were built over the past, I'll say, 10 years. Um, our plans are hopefully this year to begin construction on a soccer track stadium. 1500 seat venue uh, that will be able to have house great meets here both in track and in soccer and it's needed for our program to take us to that next level. Uh, we also have in our master plan uh, renovation to our baseball. Uh, our baseball uh, stadium currently seats uh, close to a thousand. We want to get that to 4500 with some suites and club seats. Uh, so we'll put us in a position that we can host regional uh, tournaments here uh, uh, for baseball. And then, you know, uh, down the horizon, you know, some years, uh, we also want to look at expanding the football stadium. You know, facilities is something we need to continue doing, and hopefully we'll do that. Uh, we talked earlier about the, and recruiting the student athletes, and I think our coaches are doing an exceptionally good job of recruiting great student athletes. Uh, we have great coaches here. I mean, we am very proud of our coaches, our head coaches, our assistant coaches, uh, because they believe in, in the student athlete. They believe in, in uh, making sure that they turn young men and young women into uh, fine adults and uh, representative of those individuals that you want to carry on the torch for you. So um, I'm excited about the future for UCF and uh, we continue to want our fans and those people who believe in UCF to support us, uh, you know, not only in attending the games, but also in, 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 in giving their resources for scholarships and facilities and things of that nature because uh, that too helps them become uh, the outstanding individuals that they want to become. So we're looking forward to it. All right. 
Athletic Director Keith Tribble here at UCF. Thank you very much for coming by. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank and you. We'll Thank see you in the spring. Thank you. All right. Stick around. Coming up next here on UCF Sports Night, we'll put a bow on things, including a look at the week ahead as we head into 2010. Don't go away. We're back in just a moment. Night fans, the nightmare has returned to UCF Arena for basketball season again. Season tickets for the men's basketball team are available now. More information at 407-UCF-1000 and at UCFAthletics.com. When JetBlue chose Orlando for its new flight training center, the presence of UCF strongly influenced their decision. The results? An investment of $160 million and 150 new jobs. UCF stands for opportunity. Welcome back to our holiday edition of UCF Sports Night. Now we want to give you one last gift this holiday season as we take a look back at some of the great plays from the entire fall semester. Special thanks to our friends at 1011 WJRR and Access Magazine. Here now, our Sports Night Highlight. In school history, UCF will defeat a ranked opponent. We've got a break for the holidays in the week ahead. UCF Athletics gets back to action on Tuesday, December 29th with a doubleheader at UCF Arena. 
First, the women's basketball team faces the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame at high noon. You can see the game live on UCFathletics.com. Then stick around for the first day of action in the UCF Holiday Classic as the men's basketball team faces Liberty in the dungeon at 7 p.m. You can see that game on UCFathletics.com or hear it on 740 The Game. The following day, the men's team is in action again on the second day of the Holiday Classic. They will face either Buffalo or Jacksonville at a time yet to be determined. It all depends on the results of the two games on day one. Either way, you can see the Knights in action on UCFathletics.com or hear them on 740 The Game. More hoops action the following Tuesday. The first UCF Athletics event of 2010 involves the men's basketball team traveling up to Oxford, Mississippi to play the Rebels of Ole Miss. Tip is at 8 Eastern time and you can hear the action on 740 The Game. The women's team's first game of 2010 is also on the road as they begin conference play at Marshall on Friday, January 8th. Tip is at 7 p.m. and you can hear it on UCFathletics.com. The first home event of the new year is the following day, Saturday, January 9th, when the Rice Owls come to town in the men's basketball team's conference home opener. Tip-off is at 5 p.m. and you can see the action on UCFathletics.com or hear it on 740 The Game. Women's basketball finishes its conference opening road trip in Greenville, North Carolina on Sunday, January 10th when they take on the Pirates of East Carolina. Action gets underway there at 2 p.m. And again, you can hear the game on UCFathletics.com. On the air, make sure you tune in for UCF Sports Today with Kirk Spiroff. Join Coach and the voice of the Knights, Mark Daniels, for insight, analysis, and in-depth features. Debuting Tuesday, January 5th on UCF TV and also on Sun Sports and Bright House Sports Network. Check your local listings. And don't forget, you can catch UCF Sports Night debuting every Tuesday on UCF TV and airing throughout the week. You can also catch the show on Sun Sports and Bright House Sports Network. Check your local listings for details. And for all the latest news, scores, and features from every UCF sport, log on to UCFathletics.com, your 24-7 online home for UCF sports. And of course, if you want to catch this edition one more time or you want to see any of our archived editions of UCF Sports Night, you can anytime you want online. All you've got to do is visit UCF TV's website, which is www.ucf.tv. Well, that's going to do it for this week here on UCF Sports Night. We'll catch you again next week. For all of us here at UCF Athletics and UCF TV, I'm Jeff Sharon saying thanks for watching and go Knights! Hey, this is LT from 1011 WJRR. You're listening to the best sounds of area music. UCF Athletics, Access Magazine, and WJRR are proud to support local artists. You can find more great artists by going online at www.wjrr.com and also accessmag.com. And by listening to Native Noise each and every Sunday at 11 o'clock. UCF Sports Night is brought to you by UCF TV.